Meghan Markle sparked a furious reaction from radio host James Whale after the Duchess of Sussex's friend Lizzie Cundy lamented being ghosted by the former actress. The radio presenter branded Ms. Cundy and others questioning Meghan Markle as despicable for the negative light used to describe the Duchess of Sussex. The TV personality claimed to have been getting on really well with Meghan only to be ghosted and ignored after she met Prince Harry. But Mr. Whale hit out at Ms. Cundy for trying to make a career out of her brief friendship with the Duchess of Sussex. Ms. Cundy told the talk TV host, We got on famously well, really well. I thought she was great fun, a real girl's girl, taking selfies and she wanted to find a boyfriend that was from, she loved England, wanted to be in the UK, wanted to be in Made in Chelsea. And I helped, I introduced her to a few guys you know, Ashley Cole. Mr. Whale intervened, why, hang on, why introduce a nice lady like that to a flipping footballer? The socialite claimed, she quite fancied him. He said no. Anyway, we got on well, and look, I'm not a bitter, twisted friend, James, I know that's the angle you're coming from. I'm not at all, I tried to help her and then we got blanked. Piers Morgan and myself, ghosted is the word. Fellow talk TV presenter Piers Morgan is well known for his criticism of the Duchess of Sussex, whom he claimed began to ignore him a few years after striking up a friendship on social media. But Mr. Whale took issue with Ms. Cundy's claims of being ghosted by the Duchess, and hit out a general criticism aimed at Meghan Markle. He said, What's the problem? Somebody ghosted you. People ghost me every day and I don't care. You don't like me? I don't care it's not a problem. You're trying to make a career, you and Piers, trying to make a career out of the fact this poor lady married to a really good guy, is horrible and terrible. Even heard people in the media saying, their marriage is going to fail, it's not going to last very long, they're terrible. You know, I think you're despicable, people like you. Both Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have come under heavy criticism since announcing plans to step down from their royal roles in 2020. Piers Morgan has been among the most vocal critics of the couple, questioning their commitment to the environment and to the crown. The couple have maintained their royal titles, a gift from the Queen upon their marriage in 2018, but have been stripped of their right to use the HRH style in an official capacity. The Duchess of Sussex is expected to launch her first podcast sometimes this summer but was delivered a blow after Netflix announced her animated series Pearl had been cancelled in the production stage. Several internet users applauded Netflix's choice. Some even rejoiced, stating that if the platform opted to continue with Markle's project, they would unsubscribe, implying that the couple is acquiring more critics. I'm less likely to cancel my Netflix subscription now at Netflix has cancelled that incredibly dreary sounding Meghan Markle thing, tbh, one tweeted. Many criticized Netflix for bringing the Sussexes on board a multi-million dollar, multi-year contract. Netflix recently reported losing members for the first time in more than 10 years, and some internet users blamed it on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who quit Netflix after the Sussexes worked with it. I'm one of this. Go guys, hashtag unsubscribe to at Netflix if also feel the BS Harry and Meghan did to their families. Netflix, they didn't even produce a single thing yet, can you see the effect? Karma, one tweeted while sharing the report from BBC.